you know, tremendous effort again today. Um, we know every time that you step onto the court uh, in the A-10, it's going to be a battle. Um, and I thought we really started off the game with some great energy and, and really were focused. Um, and then, you know, St. Joe's battled back and we had to, to stay composed. And I think both Janika and Taya um, and Madison did an excellent job of being really balanced for us. They were, they were getting to the rim. Uh, they were knocking down threes, and then they were rebounding and, and really creating assists. And when you can have a balanced attack, you know, from the three of them, it just opens up the floor. So excited to earn this tough win today um, and, you know, getting ready. We know it'll be another battle on Wednesday with UMass. Coach, when you get in these situations where a team's coming back in the fourth quarter, how much does it help to have as much senior leadership as you yeah, I think one of the things that really stood out to me in that fourth quarter is I could just, you know, hear, you know, all the way from the sideline, um, Taya and Madison really talking. Um, and and really it was some things that are basketball specific, but also just motivation. Hey, we got this, you know, rebound. And their voices, I think, carry confidence to some of our younger players that haven't been in those situations. And, and it really does make a big difference. Um, you know, no matter how, how the game goes or the result that we get, we want to be doing it our way. And I think when, when they're so vocal like that, it really does help. Hey, Janika, you both played a lot of basketball. How do you guys feel in those situations? Hold me first. Oh, uh, <laughs> feel good. Um, just confident in the work that we put in. Uh, you know, we can go out and play and talk and do it together. Um, just to add on to Taya, just doing whatever we can to come up with the win. Um, playing with confidence, playing with passion, and making free throws at the end and playing together. Taya, career high for you today, 26 points. Do you feel pretty good out there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just good that we got the win, you know. <laughs> Janika, balance that line for you. Eight rebounds. Five assists, 17 points. How would you describe your game when you're able to help out your team in so many different areas? Um, it feels good to be able to get my teammates involved and they're knocking down the shots and giving me the assists and just going hard to the glass and do what I can do to win. As a 2 0 to start 8 10 play, how do you feel about the way that you've kind of bounced back from that long and kind of knocked off the rest a little bit? How do we feel going into uh, UMass on Wednesday? Uh, you know, we feel good. Um, every day, every game, you know, come in hard, put in the work, and we're going to take it one game at a time. Coach O'Boyle, um, you had another game where you started off really hot. How important is it for you all as a team to kind of just set the tone around? Yeah, I think um, it's one of the things that, that we talk about even within practice, um, that uh, we, we want the game to be starting before we that ball is tipped. Um, so whether that's in warm-up, whether that's in our uh, shoot-around that we're locked in. Um, and it's something that we've been building on. Um, and you know when you're playing good teams and all the teams in the league you know, are talented that there's going to be moments where, where you're going to be making a run and there are going to be moments when the other team is making a run. And I think you just want to be able to fall back to the way that you practice. Um, and, you know, I really like how many of our players are getting into the gym on their own, how many are shooting foul shots, um, and the intensity that we brought back since since we had that big break. I think, you know, a positive of that break is, like, it, it does remind you how much you miss it. Um, and just grateful that we get the chance to play, especially to play at home and at the Stew has been great these past two games. Jose and Janico, St. Joe's really crushed y'all there at the end. How nice is it for you guys to have the ability to have multiple players who can handle the ball? Um, it feels good just knowing that any of us can bring the ball up. Um, we are, we're all confident with the ball, so that's good. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I mean, anyone, you know, you get the ball in one of our hands and we're good to go. Get the ball up the court and run our play no matter who's at the one. So it's, it's good. Well, obviously, you matched, you matched the A-10 championship game last year at Siegel. What's it, what's it going to be like? Uh, my bad. Oh, go ahead. Uh, you know, new season. Uh, that's last year. We won, but uh, new year. Uh, we're going into it. Uh, new team, not thinking about, you know, when it beating them last year. It is what it is. New year. Yeah, I think it's exciting, right? You know, your third game in and, and you get to play um, UMass, who's obviously off to a, um, a hot start, too. And, 
you know, like um, Taya says, it's it's a new year, a lot of new players in different spots. But uh, we keep building, and every game we're obviously going after that win, but we're also going, what can we learn? And I think there's some things today that we, some lessons that were really important for us to learn, and, and we got to keep working on the, the rebounding. Um, but, yeah, excited to play UMass on Wednesday. It's a, it's a great week of basketball here at the Stu.